Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a progress bar in Notion. Notion now supports this feature natively with a recent update, but before they release this feature, what you had to do is you had to go and look up some really complicated formulas to make progress bars that looked something like this. They look really cool, but the formulas did not. So now there's a much easier way to do that, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so let's hide this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new field here, and I'm just using my habit tracker template, and this will all make sense in a second. Uh, but for now, uh, in this database, it's essentially uh, just a basic database with six checkbox fields, uh, and then I have a status field and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a new number field. So I'll click on plus here, and then I'll type number to look for the number field type. And I'm just going to name this progress bar for now. And uh, right away, what you will notice is that yeah, there's a property called show as, and we get three options here. So first one is just a number. So whatever you type is what you're going to get. The second one is the bar. So this is how we are going to get to our progress bar. So let's click on this and uh, let's X out of this property and see what we get. So let's type up a number. So I'm gonna type five. Uh, so so there we go. So we get a progress bar, uh, but, and actually let's, let's do one more example. So I'm gonna type uh, 55 here. Okay, so now we have two numbers and two progress bars. But you might be wondering, how is it deciding the progress? Because for five, we just get this tiny green, and then for 55, you're getting almost 50%, or 55% rather. So, uh, so there's your clue. So basically what's happening is, if you go back to the edit property, uh, for a progress bar to work, it also needs a denominator. So in this case, it is dividing, it is dividing whatever number we enter by 100. And that is a default value, but you can completely change it. So let's say I only want this to be divided by six because I'm tracking six habits here. So I can change this number to six. So uh, let's X out of this here and see what we get now. So now, as you can see, uh, this progress bar makes a lot more sense than this one because for 55 out of six is more than one and uh, it is showing fully completed. Uh, but for five out of six, it is showing that it's almost complete, but not quite there yet. So that's how you create a basic progress bar. Uh, but of course, you're not going to come in here and change the number uh, every time you update a new habit. That doesn't make any sense. So let's just delete this one because I use this for an example. So I'm just going to completely delete this property now that we know how the uh, progress bars can be created. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I have a property here which is hidden and I'm going to unhide it. And that is my progress property. So what's happening here is that I'm going to move it here so this uh, automatically sums up everything that has been checked off and divides it by six in the formula. So if you go here, we will see uh, adding up all the habits, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then I'm dividing it by six. So basically what I get is, uh, initially I actually get a number. Uh, it is currently set to percent, but if I just change it to number, I get something like 0 0.66, 0 0.5, uh, et cetera. So what I did is, it's because I'm already dividing it by six, I go here and I change it to uh, percent. So now it automatically uh, shows it to me like 66.6% .6 or 50%. So this is basically highlighting how many habits I have checked off for the day. And if I increase it, this number automatically increases. And if I check them all, then I get 100%. Very good. So let's uncheck uh, these back. So now, uh, as you can see, this is still a number, but what we want to see is we want to see a progress bar. So we go back here. And because the formula ends up in a number, it automatically shows us the same properties that we get on a number field. Uh, this is already set to percent, and now we can change it to a bar. And uh, what we can also do is we can hide the number, and then we go back here and we see our progress nice and clean. So now every time I check something off, my progress bar increases automatically. Uh, the only thing I want to highlight here is that because it's a percent, it is not going to give us that divide by option that we were getting earlier because it is assuming that you've already taken care of that and it doesn't need to make any more division to the number provided. So with that, uh, you have your progress bar ready to go. And if you prefer, there's also another option. You can see the same thing in the ring format and then you will see uh, the, basically the same thing except that it's a ring in this case. Uh, very cool. So let me just change that back to uh, the bar and there we go. So now in our habit tracker, so when I come in here tomorrow and I start a new habit, it will start empty. And as I start checking things off, this will 
uh, entries automatically, giving us a nice and clean look to our habit tracker or any other numbers that you might be tracking. For example, if you're tracking tasks done per project and so on and so forth, it comes in really handy. So that's pretty much it. Now you know how to set up progress bars in Notion. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to access the full course, you can look for the link in the description below or on my website, nocodeuniversity.net. I'll see you in the next one.